So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover another amazing lab that is manage data models in Looker. So first of all click on start lab and if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel. So now let's get started now open the Looker incognito window. Now just follow the way I am doing and if you don't follow you won't be able to get full score on this lab because this lab is very simple but little bit tricky and it requires a lot of concentration. So now enter the email and password. and just click on this now wait for it now some of you were complaining that you are unable to modify the looker file so you are getting error like it's read only so one more important step is that to modify any file you need to enable the development mode so let me show you how you can enable it and first of all let the page fully load now here you can see this is development mode so you have to click on this and enable the toggle so it will refresh itself and you will be able to see that you are in a development mode so wait for this to reload as you can see here you are in development mode now we will move forward to the task so first of all click on explore sorry click on develop and then click labs e-commerce here we will be modifying the views creating the views and deploying it after that we will execute some tasks save the look and at last we will join it so first of all click on views and from here click on the order items now you have to modify this file for this i've shared the github repo in the description you can check it out and click on it just replace the entire content from here Control a and then backspace and Control v and paste the and uh, paste the details here now here you have to update another file that is the model file click on the model training commerce model again control a and then control v now here we have to update the data group name so for data group name you have to go to the task number one let me show you here here is the data group name weekly data group so it updates accordingly multiple times according to lab so you have to just replace it so wherever you find this name data group just replace it replace it carefully again if you are able to see just scroll down and see any name data group is present or not here so just scroll down so here here is the name data group just update it and just paste just like i am doing otherwise if you paste with any extra space or just remove the space you won't be able to get the score so after that you have to just deploy it and then we'll hit check my progress for the task number one so let me show you this is the task number one and then task number two we have to refine the table and in task number two after three we have to just extend it now save the changes and then validate lookml now it's taking a bit now click on commit now here you can write any message so if you haven't subscribed to the channel subscribe it and like the video so after that just commit and deploy to production and after that we'll hit check my progress so let's move ahead and hit check my progress so basically sometimes lab takes time to update the score so you may face issue like lab is not updating the score so you need to wait for it or you can move forward to the next task but i will recommend waiting because some tasks are interlinked and due to if you miss the task or just update the file then you may not be able to get the score so just wait for it need to wait for one to two minutes sometimes even more so just wait and make sure to cross verify once again that you have updated the file correctly uh, otherwise sometimes if you make any mistake you won't be able to get the score too so as you can see we got the score here now we can move forward to the task number two that is create and fix a refinement with an aggregate table so let's start this now again we will go to the looker and 
there we have to just first of all from the github repo we have to update the files as you can see this is the file what you need to do in the same training e-commerce model just you have to update the file that is order items which is located at the last task so let me show you where it is so here you have to just see as you can see this select it carefully backspace button and then control b now what you have to do just save it so you may get this error because we have to modify other files also you can validate the look email and if you want you can commit it to but let's wait if you are new to this channel subscribe it and just let's move ahead so deploy here we won't be able to get full score because here we have to modify some files also and create also so let me show you what you need to do first of all open looker in new tab you can use this and from here we have to just run it and save our look so from that you have to click on explore and then select order items and wait for the page to fully load so this lab is very much simple but only it requires consistency so here you have to just click on this the arabi shake just select it and from here you have to change the visualization don't worry i will share all the steps very slowly slowly here you have to click on line and now here from the order items order month we have to change it to ascending order let me show you so i will zooming zooming in for you you have to just click on this arrow and it will be updated to up arrow up arrow as you can see it's showing ascending sort order so it's in ascending order now now let's move to the task now you have to just run it so sometimes you may get network error so if you face such error just rerun the shell again i mean look at so here we got the output now we have to just save it so click on this gear icon save save as a look for look name you have to go to lab instruction task number two here it is at the last task that is number three save the visualization copy carefully make sure there is no extra space and dot now click on save so finally it's save now we'll hit check my progress for this task you'll get the score sometimes lab takes time to score update so wait for it or you can move forward to the next step now for this task we have to create a new view so copy the name from here now go back to the looker dashboard and from here you have to just click on plus so you can click on these three thoughts also and create a view enter the name here now here basically we have to replace the entire contents so if we get this kind of error in the lab you need not to worry just wait for it so just refresh the browser or wait for it or just move ahead so let me refresh the browser and from here just copy the content so just copy the content from here and meanwhile the page is loading let's update it so just replace the entire content from here control a and then backspace or you can just select it like this and replace so here we have to update the view name basically we have to update the view name so copy the name again from here carefully update the name and then go to the top replace carefully and cross verify if you need any other modifications so no we don't need any other modification also we got the score on task number two so no need to worry about it so these things we have done and now as a part of that task wait a moment let me show you we got the score on this task and for extending the view we won't get score because we are doing only that tasks okay i hope you understand now here wait a minute now click on save changes and again we have to follow the same save changes validate look ml deploy commit so after you have saved the changes and you have cross verified all the entries just very validate and commit you can type any message in the commit and just commit it so now finally it's done now you have to deploy to production 
After that, we'll hit check my progress for this task. You'll get the score without any issue. As I'm saying it again, apart from these, if you need any other skill badges or this skill badge, you can check the description and discover new skill badges. Complete it more than 50 plus skill badges are live on my channel. Uh, also, the arcade program games, all updates, events, certification zone. If any learning opportunities you need, you can contact me. Just comment on any videos, etc. So just wait for it. Now here, why did not we get full score? Because we have to update the products and groups too. Basically, we have to update the two views. Two views, that is user view and product view. Now here, we have to update the group name. Basically, we are grouping it together. So for this score, basically on task number four, copy the username carefully, basically group name carefully and you have to replace the group name only so just replace it carefully now here you can replace it like this just replace it carefully and paste over here again you can just click on the center also and select it and just replace it carefully i just use the traditional method here is again one group is missing so just cross verify all the groups have been updated of user view so yes they have been updated now what you need to do you have to update the product view as you can see we have to include in the product view so the first one was user view and second one is product view click on it make sure to replace the entire content Control a and then Control x or just press the backspace now copy here and paste over here now here again update the group name copy carefully and just you can use this or just select the center replace it again center replace it center replace it and all the groups have been updated now we have to save and deploy to production first save it and then validate lookml and after that we have to commit it for commit you can write any message so if you have come this long just like the video and subscribe the channel and let me know in the comments which lab you need so we'll make a updated tutorial for it now just click on deploy to production now the last steps will take some time to update so you need to wait for some time and once you get the score apart from this if you want this skill badge tutorial you can check the playlist and thank you guys have a great day ahead let's move ahead and wait for the score to update it will take one to two minutes so wait for it so finally we got the score and it's updating wait for a few seconds more and as you can see we got full score and we are done with the lab guys have a great day ahead